ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Jordan. We haven't eaten anything today, but we're about to do a wine tasting. So if you're in Wanaka, you need to check out that Wanaka tree. As you just saw, Wanaka is famous for that beautiful willow tree. And so this was considered the because it was... <laughs> Sean's done. Well, we might have timed ending that hike quite well because the rain's just started to come down pretty hard. <sighs> What's the next step, Vic? Next step is make our way to Monaco, which should be about two and a half hours drive. Cool. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Jordan. So Vic and I are on our way to Wanaka. Uh, we've just stopped at the scenic lookout called Lindy's Pass. You can see the terrain here is a lot more arid, but there's a lot of stopping stations for cars to put their chains on. So during the winter, it must get really icy, really snowy. Uh, let's check it out. So Vic and I have just arrived in the town of Wanaka, South Island, and um, we're on minimal sleep, minimal coffee, haven't eaten anything today, but we're about to do a wine tasting. So the region is known for its whites, coming from Adelaide, um, I think we have high expectations because we've heard really good things. So it's just started to rain, but I'm sure it's really toasty. both agreed on our preferences. It's the age yeah. for over 10 years. The other one is the Ostsina 2019, which is a white wine, only located in three regions in the world. Central Otago, where we are here, is one of them. So I think we're going to get that one. They recommend that it's not aged for any more for than a year. year yeah. So I reckon we're going to 
get this and celebrate it with friends. The Emma's Block 2015 Pinot Noir is being brought out from the cellar. And I'll stay. And What was your name again? Mark. Mark. Sean. Sean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. That was a great cellar door. Oh, good. Still full from buffet last night, but I'm sure once I smell the food, the taste buds will get going. This is our home for the next two nights. So bring on Monica. What's the plan? The plan is to eat first and foremost. So we're gonna go have Mexican at a place called Amigos Mexican Grill. And point of note, we've eaten nothing today. So I've got to make up for three meals. Same for you, Vic. Oh, I'm just making up for for my energy that I've used. Excited? Yeah. Let's go on in. Amigos and on the main stay at street. Alpine Hotel, you get ten dollars off. Mm. I recommend the spicy wings because they're definitely spicy, sticky, saucy, all that good stuff. Yeah, and try the margarita. So we're gonna go for a walk now around the Wanaka Lake. Vic is exhausted. <laughs> you haven't long. had a you haven't had a sleep in in how long, oh, Vic? It's been a long morning. A long morning. A long day. A long day. You slept the whole way in the car.
So if you're in Wanaka, you need to check out that Wanaka tree. It's a lone willow tree and it's beautiful on the south end of Lake Wanaka. Um, and yeah, it's just so nice. It has its own hashtag and it has its own Facebook page, but definitely worth checking out because it's so beautiful. close by to the Wanaka tree and it's a very beautiful park. They've got plants from around the world with their names so you can see there's Chaplin's Pink from England. There's no one here besides us. Beautiful flowers blossoming, there's a beautiful tree right at the end um, and yeah if you're wait just waiting for the crowds to sort of disappear at the Wanaka tree we recommend you go to this park and just walk around and enjoy the scenery. So we just checked out the Wanaka willow tree. Very beautiful picturesque tree but of course being that picturesque lots of tourists there. Um, it's easy to get a picture with the tree because people can't actually go right up to the tree it's in the water but if you're wanting the angle where you've got the snow-capped mountains in the background that is difficult to get because everyone crowds for that angle. But honestly, it's picturesque from all angles and it was just really beautiful to see. It is a must-do if you come to Wanaka, so it's about a five-minute drive outside of the main town, not even, a couple minutes, or if you want to walk it, um, maybe a good 15. All right, we'll see you at lunch. on the road doesn't mean I don't have time for you plenty of trot almost two of our ultimate favorites pimento chips with a truffle sauce and we've got the arancini with taleggio cheese on top and looks like a nice sugo on the side you can't go wrong with Should I do a fried, deep fried food <laughs> you can't really do <laughs> should I do a taste test yeah sure So good, Oh, yum. Look at that tomato cheese. Okay. Gonna dip it in the soup. Mm. That is so good. So cheesy with the soup. Nice and crispy, perfect garbage. Yeah, yeah. Baby, move your feet, move your hips, get up. Been waiting so long for feeling like this. So, this is my favorite pasta, pappardelle. Thick ribbon pasta, and it's got a lamb ragu, and it smells so good. That looks 
like <laughs> satisfaction. Mm. I think there's spinach in here, there's rosemary, there's olives. You can see the lamb just falling apart. Delicious. So I ordered the puttanesca. Puttanescas, then we've got olives, anchovies, capers. Yeah. Um, normally a hint of chili as well. Yeah. Um, it originated back in the day, um, and the name comes from putta, the Italian word putta, which is like a whore <laughs> in Italy, um, in Italian. Um, and so this was considered the whore's pasta because it was <laughs> considered like something easy, cheap that you could throw together. Yeah. And I'll try. So we've got the chocolate budino. So, which is a bread type pudding, mascarpone ice cream, some poached pears, and an almond crumble. Let's see what it's like. Oh, that's like a lava cake. Sean's done. It's so good. I know my life can get so crazy, but as long as you're right here, none of the gossip, nothing can stop us. I wanna love you with no fears. We can do this thing together. Close your eyes and take my hand. Cause what we have is something special, baby. Let's just take our chance. Don't be scared, get up I won't judge, I don't care, get up Baby, move your feet, move your heels, get up Been waiting so long for feeling like this Your life can get so crazy So make sure to come to Origins Wanaka Hands down the most beautiful yeah, gift shop the lady in the really whole nice town and Lots of handmade crafts and really good friendly customer service. Yeah. Don't be shy, don't be scared. Get up. Yeah, yeah. I won't jump. I don't care. <laughs> oh, bladder hell. Sorry? Good one, Paul.